Welcome back to part two of my rifle build project. If you remember from the first video, I mentioned that I purchased a Remington 700 VTR chambered in 308 from a gentleman who wanted to get into bolt action rifles. Long story short, stripped off the bluing and let it sit for 10 years. And if you look real close, you'll see that there's a lot of uh, rust and pitting on this barrel. All the other parts look great. The barrel is awful. So what are my options? Well, I did a lot of research. Uh, I did a lot of research into a bunch of products where I could use uh, liquids, let it sit for 24 hours, and that was just going to get really pricey. So I came down to basically four other options that I considered and I chose one of them. The first option was using some three-in-one oil, put a little on there, using a copper penny to uh, rub it and it'll pull the, you know, take the rust off. You got to use a copper penny before 1982 because in 1982 we started using zinc and that's not going to be great for your barrel. So make sure it's before 1982. So I've got one from 1979, that was perfect. But that was going to be really, really, really time consuming. And from the first video, I mentioned that there was a lot of rust here in this chamber. And yes, I can get that out with, uh, with a little bit of TLC and some, some time. But I'll be honest, I'm not very patient when it comes to taking rust off of this stuff. So I decided, well, here's the second option. Loctite and Rust-Oleum both make a rust dissolver. It's a gel product. You basically put it on there, let it sit for anywhere from 30 minutes to um, an hour or two hours, depending on how bad the rust is. This rust is pitted, and I figured, well, I could put it on for 30 minutes, put some rubber gloves on, take some 4 aught steel wool, and take as much off as I could and repeat the process over and over and over again until I got it all done. Problem is, once I got either one of these done, I'd have to go ahead and clean it all off with clean water, whatever. Basically, that's what you use with this is water. And then I'd have to dry it very quickly and then I'd have to blue it right away. Third option, my uh, buddy Dean had a similar situation with an old rifle that was in his family that was just really, really, really rusted. Beyond this, it was, it was pretty bad. So his dad built an electrolysis tank using an anode, some rebar for an anode, um, a battery charger, some salt water. Basically, the whole thing cost about $15. And he was able to pull all that rust off. And the barrel looked brand spanking new cleaned it all up, and it looks great. I didn't want to have to build a tank. I didn't want to have to use any water if I didn't have to. Things rusted already. I don't want to take the chance of there being more rust. So, my fourth and final option, which is the one that I'm going to go with, is I am going to bead blast it. Actually, I'm going to have someone bead blast it for me and Cerakote it. I decided here, you'll notice, yeah, I've got a uh, color chart here of some different uh, colors from Cerakote. They sent me some samples to, uh, to look at. And I've decided that I am going to go with the flat dark earth. I like that color. I think it's great. I think it's great for hunting out here. It blends in really well with the, uh, the environment. And that's what I'm going to go with. So, I am going to have them bead blast it. I am going to have them Cerakote it, and then I'm going to assemble the rifle here. I have purchased some of the other products and uh, um, pieces of gear that uh, that I really want to use with this rifle, and that'll be coming up in uh, in another video. But that's, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I figure it'll take probably a couple weeks, and then I'll have this back, and you guys will get to see uh, the assembly. 